Do you want to talk about our fight in Queenstown? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the vlog. This is the night before the weekend. I consider Friday my weekend because I only work half days. Um, and Andrew's not very happy because I have an ice bath in the morning. We need early morning. And it's like 11, so definitely not getting an eight hours sleep. No. <laughs> okay, fine. Good morning. It is too early. I am off to go and do an ice bath, which is all fun and games in summer. Now we're heading into winter. I'm not looking forward to it. Why do we do things that are good for us? You know, sometimes I just think, what the fuck? Uh, I will film that ice bath and I will let you know how it goes. And okay, bye. <laughs> Okay. It... <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Are you vlogging right now? I am. <laughs> how's, how's it going? Okay, we are about to do an ice bath. Um, it was cold this morning. It's so fucking cold. Yeah, I think this is going to get progressively worse. How would you sleep? Like nine and a half hours. Oh, nine and a half hours <laughs> sleep. Yeah. Oh my god. Look how pretty the sky is. <laughs> I've just done an ice bath. There's a girl running and she's running really fast. I'm killing it. That'll be me one day. Now we're on our way to the physio. I am hoping that they can give me some insights onto why my shins are just not getting better. Yep, you'll see me later. I'll give an update after my physio. And then I have a runner's appointment. Okay, I just had my... Why can my brain not? I'm working on my back. Someone else is back here. Cool. Okay, it was good. My leg is so sore. She has focused on my left leg today, which I don't know what that was about, but so now just more strengthening exercises. Yeah, everything's looking good. I'm going home now to go to work. Um, I work from home on Fridays, which is awesome. Uh, so I will be going home. I am on my way to my sports specialist appointment. Like I currently have boot heels on because I'm going out for drinks afterwards, but I've brought um, my running shoes with me and I'm just scared he's gonna ask me to run, which he probably will because it's a running assessment. <laughs> but I'm gonna be sweaty. Um. I just realized that Fijar Funk is back, so that's fun. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm chucky. <laughs> no, I like it. That's really it's cute. Nice. It's good. That looks amazing. That is pretty. Mm -hmm. It's got homework in it. That's delicious. See my skin texture? Yeah. Tan at all. Wait. Do you see my people on these? Yeah. Mm, get them away. Sis. Do you want to spill some secrets? What kind? What do you want to know? I just need views. Do you want to talk about our fight in Queenstown? Yeah. Ruby attacked me. <laughs> you want to bet to it? Made it really awkward for everyone. Yeah, everyone I went silent. <laughs> <laughs> Look, some of us, we go through little unhinged moments and I can't even remember what our fight was about. Neither. It but... was me being like, Sophie, you need to come out. Sophie, I was sick. I was so sick. I literally couldn't even swallow properly, but I still came out to dinner. I thought that 
what was happening was Sophia's boyfriend was on his first trip with our friend group and I thought he just didn't feel comfortable coming out with us oh, because Sophia nice. wasn't coming like she was sick so she was staying at the Airbnb. I was trying to pressure <laughs> Harry to come out with us still and Sophia was like no he's coming back because he needs to drive the van back uh -huh. because she didn't feel comfortable driving the van back and because I, I was sick. Right but to be fair, we'd been out all day. I hadn't seen how sick you were mm. because we had been away from you. And then I'm like, Harry, no, come out. And you're like, no, Ruby. Because he wanted to take me home and look after me because I was that sick. I had and never been so sick in my and life. Then I, and then I, no, I ordered a burger. They said, do you, want, do you want bacon? And I said, yeah. And Ruby went, Peggy. No, because I don't eat pig. Because I don't eat pig. I thought she was calling me fat. So I was like. Yeah. And then I said, let's sort this out in the bathroom. And she said, no. I refused to talk to you at that point because I was like, I'm not joining us. I was too sick. I couldn't deal with it. Anyway, it's been like two years. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning. We are off. And when I say we, Andrew's following behind in his car. We're off to the farmer's market in Takapuna. Um, it's like once a month and we love it. I look so rough. I don't know why I look like this, but at the moment I've been staying at Andrew's, which has made it very hard to organize like my clothing and sh So I just currently have like bits and bobs of what I need, um, meaning that I've got a very weird fit for the gym because I'm going to the gym later with Stevie and Phoebe and we're going to just do a workout and I've got my running shoes on which is quirky. I'm so excited for the farmer's market. Honestly it's like one of my favourite things to do um, and Andrew and I both love it and we all I swear to god they always have this gluten free donut stand. It's so good. But yeah, I'm just hoping that it's there because sometimes it isn't there and that's when I get very sad. Um, but fingers crossed. That was a fail. Wait, wait. I made a gum. Okay, we oh, we tried to go to the markets, but turns out it's closed. So we're just going to have some food and coffee, and hopefully go to the market tomorrow. Show what you got. And coffees. She has ordered a Thai chicken wrap. Okay, I'm not too sure why there's a flare going on. We're just gonna deal with that. Well, we arrived and there was no market, so definitely no gluten free donuts. In fact, I had a full gluten wrap. I'm feeling really tired. I am under the impression that I will be having a V or a monster when I get to the gym. Now I'm on my way to gym with Phoebe and Stevie. I am not feeling cute. I feel ugly today, which is fine. We all have ugly days. Um, and today is just particularly feeling kind of a naff. Naff is a good word. I'm feeling naff. I haven't worked out in two days. And to be honest, I really don't want to work out today. But I have two more workouts to do and it's Saturday. So I'm doing one today. I'll hopefully do one tomorrow. Who knows? And one of them's cardio and one of them's weight. So I'm going to do weights today. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm amped up. It's all about mindset. I've just got to get into a mindset and have some more lollies. And I'll be good to go. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, also, just a little side thing. I do want to be really honest. I know this vlog is about trying to fill my cup. Um, and I have done so far. Like yesterday was a hectic day. I did so much and I was so happy throughout the day. And then when I got home and we were eating dinner, Andrew and I were just lying there watching TV and I turned to him and was like, I'm sad and I don't know why. Like, I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I've had a really good day, um, but it just kind of hit me. And I do think part of it was just genuine, like being exhausted, um, which is like normal. But I do want to say that like, you know, it's not linear, nothing's perfect. I am posting highlights and I really want to ensure that it's not just highlights. Um, and yeah, I had a little rough night. Um, we had a cuddle and I was perfectly fine afterwards. But it comes and ebbs and flows and 
just because I'm doing this vlog where I'm showing all these great things that have helped me fill my cup and I'm doing all this work, it actually doesn't mean that I can counteract my depression because part of it is just a chemical imbalance. So I do not ever want to put out the news that like if you just hang out with your friends and you eat healthy and sleep the right amount that you're not depressed because I do think that that kind of puts the blame on you for being depressed. But the reality is I did everything yesterday to be happy and I wasn't 100% happy. So I just want it to be very clear that your mood does not always reflect how much effort you put into making yourself happy. It's my favorite weather. Blue skies and it's cold. I'm also off to count down to grab some V's for me and Stevie, not Phoebe, because Phoebe is smart and brought pre-work out. <sighs> Hi guys, it's your favorite person back on the vlog. <laughs> they do look good. Nice. What? You want me to hold it for you? I'm gonna try and bench. You wanna slay? I'm stop wait, don't do it yet. Slay! Sorry, I got a nasty cough. <laughs> Seven, <laughs> six, <laughs> five more. <laughs> it's filmception. Here's realistic Ruby showing you her favorite exercise of all time. <sighs> Won't do handstands with me though, but she did say she desperately wants to sprint, so. Here's physical evidence of it. <laughs> Should I tell a story? Oh, let me think about a story first. Let me go. Should we do a high five? Wait, wait. Wait, I'm going to hit you. You have to go back. I just had to jump in and get my mum and mother's day gift and now I'm gonna jump across the road quickly to the cat cafe and see some kitties. Woo! Like why does that look so sad? Because it's gluten free. <laughs> We're going to the Sunday markets. We went yesterday and it was closed so uh, because it was Saturday. <laughs> it's the Sunday market. <laughs> Okay, we brought some, um, we went to the supermarket, can you stop, they can't hear me, we went to the supermarket and we weren't meant to get anything but we got these Quest chips and per bag it's like 18 grams of protein which is kind of insane so we're going to do a taste test. It 
tastes like I'm just eating dip though. Yeah, I agree. It's like a lot of flavor to- It disintegrates in your mouth. It well. does. It's a little powdery. <laughs> oh. But I mean, 18 grams of protein on a bag of these. Pretty good. But they were expensive. They were so expensive. They were $6.50 for a bag. This one is a cheese flavor. Yeah. They're nice, but like, it tastes like a stale chip. The flavor's great. The chip itself needs some work. But I'll still eat them. Hello. I am at home in my dressing gown. I just got back from the gym. I have had protein chips and a protein bar, and we just decided to get butter chicken. Anyway, I have had a very good weekend. I am exhausted, like genuinely exhausted. <laughs> um, but I had a great session at the gym, got in half an hour of steps, a 2K run, which did hurt. Um, but I'm slowly trying to learn how to get my shins not hurting. I'm going to a running specialist, so I'm looking forward to that. And I did lots of stretches. I can't wait to stretch more and get more flexible. But yeah, for now, I cannot wait for Andrew to walk through that door with butter chicken. Because that is the best way to end a weekend. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this. I think this is going to be a very interesting vlog to edit together. It might be a little bit messy. I'm so sorry if it is. But I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I know I've actually really enjoyed this. I hope that it means you get to know me a little bit better for those who don't actually know me in real life and are watching. Um, and it means a lot if you have gone this far in the video because I know I'm very new and I'm not a specialist in anything. So if you're watching this, you're genuinely just watching it um, to support me. And that makes me really happy. So do let me know if you've watched all the way to the end. Um, Lots and lots of love and I'm really excited to film more content.